Welcome to Tabletop Baseball Plus. Very, very excited today for another game from the Orioles 14 game winning streak from 1973. They're just taking on the Royals again. This time, Steve Busby on the mound for the Royals. Doyle Alexander for the Orioles. Pretty close to the same lineup for the Royals. Patek and Short. That's Short. Rojas at second. Otis in center. Mayberry at first. McRae, D.H., Kirkpatrick and right. Pinnell in left. Shaw at third. And Fran Healy, the catcher. For the Orioles, Paul, or Al Bumbry, Paul Blair is out. It's Al Bumbry in left. Coggins in center. Davis D.H., Boog Powell at first. Merv Rettman in right. Merv Rettman is in. And Paul Blair out. Brooks Robinson at third, Gritch at second, Earl Williams catcher, Mark Belanger at short. So here we go, Freddie Patek leading off, facing Doyle Alexander, the right-hander, a C pitcher at home. So an even 31, hit by pitch. So he get Beans Patek. right off the get-go and I think the he is gonna try to steal uh, Earl Williams is minus eight so that's a 63 and he will steal safely so Patek is second Odd is a 17 that's a single Seventeen is a single to left. Left fielder is Bumbry with a weak arm. Seventeen. It needs to be a zero to five to get him. It's an RBI single for Rojas. Amos Otis. Odds of forty. Forty. Strikeout, and that will be a strikeout. First out of the inning. Here's Mayberry. Even is a 97 and he lines it out to second. Two away. <clears throat> Hal McRae. Odd is a 65. Ground out to third. The Royals on the board. 7 to 1 was the actual score. So maybe that's it for the Royals. <laughs> we'll see. Here's Al Bumbry. Odds of 90. Busby's right-hander. Fly to center. Rich Coggins. Double zeros. Home run. But that is a modifier. And he's a C pitcher. Home run versus a C is still a home run. So Rich Coggins does squeak one over the fence. That ties the ball game up. 1-1. One, one. Tommy Davis. 35. 35 is an error check. Versus a C pitcher. I think that's still an error check. So. 45. 45 is third base. And we have a 9. So it shouldn't be an error. Actually, Paul Shaw's a nine. And timeout. So it is going to be an error on Paul Shaw, the third baseman. He's got a nine there. So <clears throat> Tommy Davis reaches on an error. We go Boog Powell. Odds of 40. 40 to walk. Versus a uh, C pitcher it is a single. So single and that moves Davis to third. One out. Evens a 97, a line out to second will Merv Redman. And 75 for Brooks. It's 
going to be a fly to right. So what looked like could have been a bigger inning, only that one run off that solo home run. Rich Coggins. There's Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick. He was a 67. And he'll ground out to Brooks Robinson. Lou Pinella, 42. Grounds out to second. And here he is, Paul Shaw. Even as a 19 single. It's an infield single for Paul Shaw. Fran Healy, catcher. And that's going to be a 63. Grounds it out to short. Bottom of the second. Bobby Gritch. 99. Nobody on base, don't need to worry about that. 56, rounds out to second. Cookie Rojas, second base for the Royals. Odd is a 33. Air check. On who? 74 is the shortstop. Shortstop is um, Patek, he's a 5. So that is going to be an error. On Freddie Potek. Mark Belanger with one on, one out, odd 71, fly to right. Two away, Al Bumbry, 88. 88 center field. As long as he's positive or neutral, he'll make the play. That is Amos Otis. So he'll make that grab. Top of three. Still one to one. Odds of 17 for Patek, and he gets on the board with a single. I guess he got on last time with a hit by pitch. So here's Rojas. 68. It's round ball to third. On an eight. That'll be a out of first, 5-3, and then Patek moves to second. One out, Amos Otis, 48. Scramble ball to second on an eight. So plays at first, Patek to third, two away. Mayberry, 51, struck him out. Bottom of three, Rich Coggins, homered his first time up, 90, flies out to left, Tommy Davis, 63, grounds out to third, fifty-three for Boog Powell, struck him out. Up the fourth, Al McRae, 23, it's a walk. Brings up Kirkpatrick, 32, and that's a walk, and that will be a walk. Back-to-back -back walks issued by Doyle Alexander. He's up Lou Pinella. I think he's going to bunt. That's yeah, a good sack bunt. Second and third, Paul Shaw, one for one. Odds an 83. Fly to center. Center field tagging up, 70 or less. It's a 99. Lead runner's out on a 99. So that was a fly to, was that center? Um, 
you right here. So it's a fly out, throw out. Double play. That ends the inning. Fly them out, throw them out. Bottom of the fourth, still a tie ball game. Retman 7D, fly to right. Brooksy. There we go. At odds, double zeros. That's a home run versus a C is a home run. So second home run of the game for the Orioles. Coggins, now Robinson, two to one. Orioles. Odds a 45, and that'll be a strikeout of Bobby Gritch. Actually, yes. Still a strikeout. He's a C pitcher. Williams, 36, and he strikes out. Busby bears down after giving up that home run. And that's... I knew I was going to do that. Right when I started, right in that zero. How about a one? Two to one, Orioles. Top of the fifth, 70. Grounds it out to Brooks Robinson. Top of the order, Freddie Patek. 62. Grounds out to Brooks Robinson. Rojas, 29, walked him. Two out walk. Here's Otis with a 77. And it's a fly to center. The bottom of five, still 2 1. The O's. It's Belanger. 36, struck him out. That's three in a row for Steve Busby. Now Bumbery, 55. That's going to be a walk. He's got that walk down here. So Bumbery reaches on the walk. One out. Here's Rich Coggins. 86 is a fly to center. Two away, Tommy Davis. 92. Fly to left. No, sorry. That was an odd. That's a 12. That was an odd. That's 12. That's a single. Bumbry to third. Boog Powell. There's an 82, and that's a fly to right. Sixth. Top of the sixth. Two to one Orioles. Mabry, 18, single. Al McRae, 73. Fly to right. Even is a 17 for a Kirkpatrick single for him. It's an odd number. It's a one base. 42 for Pinella. Ground ball to second on a two. It's going to be a double play. Four, six, three. Inning ender. Bottom of six. Merv Redmond, 56, ground ball back to the mound. Brooks Robinson, 96, fly to left. Gritch, 49, struck him out. Neither team able to get much going. Seventh inning. 
Doyle Alexander, he's a six inning guy, but he can keep going. He's only given up one run. Odd is a 15. And that'll be a single versus C pitcher it is a double. Shaw with a double, single and double now for him. Here's Healy. Odd is a 15. <clears throat> And that's another double. That's a modifier. So the Royals tie it up. That's probably going to be all for Doyle Alexander. They're going to bring in uh, Wayne Garland. Came in in the last game, but he's going to come in again. Didn't pit, pitch one inning. Nobody out. Healy at second. Odds of 65, and that's a grounder to third. On a five, should hold the runner. One out. Rojas. 76, fly to center, can you tag up, 25 or less to move up, he does not, Amos Otis in 94, flies out to left, but the Royals tie it up, 2-2. Two -two. Bottom of the seventh. There's Earl Williams, even 52. Struck him out. Belanger, 81. Fly to center. Bumbry. There's an 0-2 for Bumbry. That's a triple. Odd number, 0-2. So Bumbry third with two outs. Here's Coggins. 86. It's going to be a fly to center, and that'll end the inning. We'll go to the eighth, tied up. There's Mayberry. Mayberry. Even as a 26, and that's a walk. to Mayberry. Hal McRae. Maybe he's going to bunt. He's got an 87 for sacrifice. It's an 82, so he lays it down barely. Thought about going to second with it, but they get McRae at first, and it's a good sack. Here's Kirkpatrick. Wow. Could have had double zeros, but instead it's a 70. Fly to right. Tagging up. 45 or less, it's a 46. No advancement. Vanilla. 49. Grounds it back to the mound. Inning over. So bottom of the eighth inning, Busby's going to try one more. He's given up two runs. Odd is an 88. It's a fly to left, left fielder. Pinella will make the grab. He's neutral. Boog Powell, 78. Fly to right. Merv Rettman, 86. It's going to be a fly to left. Ninth inning, 2-2. Two -two. Garland on for his third inning of work. Paul Shaw, 30. 30, he's an A pitcher though. 30's a walk. Versus an A is a strikeout.
Fran Healy, 91, flies to left. Freddie Potek, 82, fly to center. So the Royals are going to go to their bullpen. Let's take a timeout. So Joe Horner on for the Royals, left-hander. <clears throat> Facing Brooks Robinson, bottom of nine, tied up. 92, flies to left. <clears throat> Bobby Gritch, uh, even is a 33. And he will get on via the walk. Let's see. What's the catcher? Healy's a minus seven. That put him at about a 51. Earl Williams. Odd is a 29. 29 is a walk. He's a B pitcher and there's a runner on first, so two balls. Evens a 40. And that will be a strikeout. The two away, Blanger. Even is a 54, and it's ground out to the mound. Grant Jackson now on to pitch for the Orioles. Let's move to the tent. He's a lefty. Cookie Rojas. Even is a 64. Grounds out to Brooks Robinson. One away. Amos Otis. 21. 21 is going to be a single for Amos Otis. And he is on with one out. John Mayberry. 44 is. The rare play, which we have not had. Runners on, 51. It's a strikeout with a catcher injured by a hitter's backswing. I'm not playing with injuries, so it's a strikeout. Of Mayberry, two away. Al McRae. Odd is a 44. We just had the rare play, so no, no need to go back to it. Once per game is all it is. So strikeout of Hal McRae on a 44. Bottom of 10. Royals are going to the bullpen again. Timeout. Doug Bird on for the Royals. Bottom of 10, he's a right-hander. Top of the order for the Orioles, Al Bumbry. Odds of 58. 58 to ground out to first. Rich Coggins, 94, fly left. Tommy Davis, 32, draws a walk. Keeps things moving in the 10th with a walk. Boog Powell. Odds of 27, and that's another walk. Actually, it's not. He's a B pitcher with a runner on first. It's two balls in the batter. Even is a 46, and that'll be a strikeout. Boog Powell strikes out. So we'll go to the 11th. Ed Kirkpatrick for the Royals. Odds 66. It's ground out to third. Actually, it's over here. 66 shortstop. And that's a defensive. Check. <clears throat> and he will make 
Or will he make the play? Shortstop is Melanger. He's a positive, so he'll make the play. Brings up Pinella, 33. Versus a lefty is a walk. Brings up Paul Shaw. Evens an 05, and that's a double. Actually, it is a modifier. 05 versus an A. Double versus an A pitcher. Might be a walk. Or single. It's going to be a single. So a single, and it's a one base advancement on top of that. So first and second, one out. Fran Healy. Odd is a 59, and that's a grounder to first on a 9. That moves the runners over. Second and third, Freddie Patek. A little base hit scores a run. Even 93 is going to be a fly out to left. So no run scores for the Royals. Bottom of the 11th. Doug Bird back out. Here's Mark Retmond. 21. 21 versus a righty. He's a walk. So the leadoff man is on here in the 11th. Brooks Robinson bunts, and it's a good one. Redman at second. He's a fast runner. Rich. Odds of 53. Grounder to first on a three. Fielder's choice, actually, no, up here, yeah. Runner moves over. Same situation the Royals had in the top half of the inning. Runner at third, two outs, down to Earl Williams. To keep this, to be in this game, maybe. And, he, and evens in 0-2. And he does it in style. That's a home run. Zero to four is a home run. He got an 0-2, and that's out of here. Off Doug Bird. It's a two-run shot for Earl Williams. And the Orioles are victorious in 11 innings. Final of four, four to two. Much closer than the actual game. Let's check the hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hits for the Royals. That's what they actually had, nine hits. And they had two errors. Orioles, no errors. Hits for the Orioles. One, two, three, four, five, six hits. Only six hits. Three home runs, though. Three of the six hits were home runs. I miss one. One, two, three, four, five, no, six hits. Six hits. Eight and four in the replay now. Through 12, they got two more games left in this little project. So they're eight and four after 12. I appreciate you guys watching. And I'm going to get out of here for now. Until next time, you guys have. Guys, have a great evening. Take care, and God bless.